What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're bringing you a new deck, Atraxa Forged. So, why do we make this deck? Well, we end up opening two Atraxas in our packs, so I wanted to put it to use. But with, you know, four different colors and a nine co or a seven cost is pretty steep. So we're going to reanimate it from our graveyard. We're going to use a Rakdos deck uh, using Vat of Rebirth is what, how we want to do it. So whenever we, uh, another artifact or creature you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put an oil counter on Vat of Re Rebirth. We're going to try to generate a lot of artifacts that we can destroy, guys. So we got the Omnicult Anvil there, which is going to, uh, we can sacrifice artifacts, and that creates another artifact that we can again sacrifice later on. So you can see the cycle there, getting uh, Battery Birth uh, pumped up pretty quickly to four, because we need the four oil counters to return a creature card from our graveyard. Um, we want to get this started maybe with some uh, blood tokens. So we have the Voldaren Epicure here. When it enters the battlefield, it creates blood token. Blood Teeth Har Harvester, when it enters the battlefield, it gets, uh, creates a blood token. And uh, the Fall Cre or Falconrath uh, Forebear, uh, when it attacks and it's flying, so it has some evasion, it can uh, also generate a blood token for us. And then if the Omni Cult is down on the uh, on the battlefield and we have, you know, a Traxa or Titan of Industry, just added that to our deck to have another big card that we can reanimate. Uh, you know, and we, if you don't know, it's a fantastic card. When it comes in, uh, we choose two. We can destroy an artifact or an enchantment. We can gain five life. We can create a Rhino. Or we can put a shield counter on something that we have there, which could be the Titan, which could be the Atraxa. I didn't go over what the Atraxa does, but I mean, it's a 7-7 seven, seven flyer, guys. It has Vigilance, Death Touch, Lifelink, and its biggest perk is when it enters the battlefield, you search your top 10 cards, and for each different type, you can put that in your hand. So that's a sorcery, that's an instant, that's a creature, that's an enchantment, right? A land, Planeswalker, guys, sorceries, you know. We don't have any Planeswalkers in our deck, so I mean, if that's something that you want to add in, you can, because you can... Uh, well, this is a creature card here, but to uh, add another thing to the battlefield, if we don't have the VAT on the go there, we can use the Soul Transfer. Um, also has a perk of being able to exile a creature or planeswalker, but we, we can return our own creature or planeswalker from the graveyard to our hand, not to the battlefield, to our hand. So that's kind of where, you know, it limits you a little bit. Uh, battery Birth is right to the battlefield, which is great. Um, the blood tokens, like I said, allows us to discard a card. So if we have the, the Traxa or the Titan of Industry in our hand, we that's a good way to get it into our graveyard, right? Um, yeah, and then we have some removal here, guys. We have the Hero's Downfall, um, you know, for uh, Planeswalker or Creatures, the Grasp, a Braid for Artifacts, as well as 3 damage, a Board Wipe with Burn Down the House, or we can create 3 Devils if our board is looking a little dry, um, and, uh, you know, bring them in for a quick 3 damage, or, you know, blockers should we need them, and then when they die, they put counters on Battle Rebirth, and they also do uh, 1 damage, so we can do damage to our opponent's face if we want to there. And once again, the Soul Transfer to uh, Exile Creatures or planewalker, Planeswalkers. Um, mechanized warfare, guys, and you know, this is in there because we're sacrificing uh, artifacts and it's dealing two damage to our opponent's face instead of one, right? So that's a good little perk there. A bunch of different lands here, guys, um, but there's only there's no actual tap lands here, really. Um, we have uh, some swamps, mountains, um, and most of these come in uh, battlefield untapped. If we have two or more other lands, we have one black cleave cliffs that comes in, and it's a uh, you know red black. Um, Rakdos, um, it comes in untapped or comes it comes in untapped with two or fewer. So if that's in our opening hands, that's good. And then uh, all these different ones, just they either have red or black on them. Um, but I set it up so that, you know, we could hard cast Atraxa should it be late game in our hand rather than, rather than having to, um, you know, fumble around trying to get it. Guys, I'm going to be honest. The deck is, uh, you know, it's not going to 
zoom you through the ranks anytime, but it is fun to play. Um, in ranked matches, we were about 50-50. In play matches, well, we met some crazy decks, so I'm not going to comment on that. But we also made a few changes to ours as we played. I needed a couple. I added the Titans of Industry just to have something extra to put into our graveyard to reanimate, and it, uh, that even just that change. And we made uh, put Soul Transfer in there to make it a bit easier to get something from our graveyard. Uh, should we not have the you know the forge and that up and running the anvil right so uh, you know but it is fun to play like once <laughs> you know if you don't get it it's frustrating but when you get the 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 combos off it's uh, it's quite quite satisfying so you'll have fun with it i'm sure i know i did so uh at this point guys if you like the deck please drop a like if you want to see more please subscribe um now let's get to the battlefield and see how we do Okay, up against Shaiteka. Okay, not the best opening hand, but it's an opening hand, isn't it? Hopefully we can get some blood tokens going. Draw some cards. That would be great. Let's try it. Suggested. Okay, Blood Teeth Harvester, you're up. Against Mono Black. Hmm. This could be problematic, but not bad. If we can get the VAT in our hand, we'll be quite happy with that. Right? If we can get the VAT going. We need to draw one of one of them, or even if we get. Oh my goodness, we need some things going. A Gix, okay, we can get rid of that. No problemo. Okay, we will destroy it. No big deal. Attack in. And we can't do anything else, so let's just draw a card, discard a card. We'll put the Titan in our graveyard. And an Abrade is okay. We like an Abrade. Another Gix! Oh, you're not going to like our answer for that. That's a bit crazy. Two legendary creatures back to back for three drops. Like, seriously, come on. This is kind of the hands I've been facing off against. All the time. Here you go. See you later, sucker. Okay, that's great. Lots of blood tokens. We're gonna bring out another forebear here. Good game, he quits. Good game. All right, that's great. Okay, going to go up against Ariander. Guys, I am going to be honest here. I've played this deck, I don't know how many times in play, and all I'm facing is meta decks, and that's no good for me. Um, this is not the best. But, but if we can get something out for the anvil to forge on, we're okay, so let's keep it. See how it goes, but I'm really stuffed up here tonight. It's not fun at all. Already made a mistake. I should have put the Haunted Ridge out first. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Doesn't matter. We wouldn't be able to do anything with it anyway. That might... What is this? This create mites? No. That creates Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Um. I don't want to waste that on that, but we don't want Toxic 3 either. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Should have mulliganed, I think. I think that's the biggest 
issue I have going with this. You really need a good starting hand, which is true of, I guess, many, many decks and many games. Sometimes I look at curve, right? I got too many big cards to chance it that I get if I get on curve. Oh, this is not going to bode well. We're going to be toxic, toxic to pieces here. Come on, baby, give us something good. Not good, but not. No, not good at all. Not good at all. Well, we can block with braids and bring it back, but we don't have anything to show for it then. Right? Hmm. Wanna waste that on the duelist here? I don't feel like I do, but I kinda got to at this point maybe. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like a waste, doesn't it? Seems like a waste. We need something good in our hands. We need something that creates a blood token for us here, is what we need. Right? Two more tokens, or counters, whatever they are called, poison counters. There's a vat, but that's no good to us either. Not at this point. Bring up late braids here. They could block a little bit at least. Right? Decline. Decline. Right? Good combo there, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on, man. Free life, at least. Life doesn't matter. It's the poison counters that are going to do us in. Four, three more coming our way. Okay, they're not getting any creatures to die anyway. Burning down the house, that's no good to us. Survive one more turn. Survive one more turn and that's it. Don't think we can do any more. Come on, man. Come on, man. Not cool. Okay. Alright, we need... The only thing we can use here is a burn down the house. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Discard this, draw a card. We don't have enough, and there it is, but we don't have enough land for it. Nine. Alright, good game, dude. Good game. Okay, J. King. See what our hand is this time and see if we can figure out something better. So we got the Vat of Rebirth, which is good. 
scrap work mutt which is okay right because I can discard a card if we get something good uh, braid all right let's try it I guess we definitely want the vat in our hand uh, vat plus you know one of our blood token creatures would have been a lot nicer wouldn't it all right let's get you out there let's get you out there and start going to work Another toxic deck? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's do... Let's do this for now. Oops, someone's clicked the wrong thing here. Let's get rid of a flyer first, right? We can't have that giving us toxic, for sure. Another one? Okay, okay. And that. Alright, so, okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. Next. Alright, so we will block the chorus. We will get rid of the siphoner with an infernal grasp maybe next turn. Proliferate is okay for a little bit. Okay, you might as well attack with your Pestilent Siphoner. Can't do much about that. Okay, my turn. Oh, another one. Okay, that's good. That's good for us. So, play this. Okay. Yeah, and now we will get rid of the flyer, so we don't get prolif um, corrupted on us with three poison counters. And that's all we're going to do. No attacks, my friend. No attacks. Now we could start drawing. We want something in our hand before we start drawing, right? We definitely do. Perfect. We don't mind that at all. Trade is fine with us. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. We're still at just two poison counters, which is fine. Oh, okay. Now we're at three. Not good. Not cool, man. Alright, so let's put... Let's get rid of... Wait now. Let us... I don't want to discard, but we got the blood tokens there to discard. Okay, let's get... So this creates a might. Land would have been nice here. Um... A land would have been nice here. Um, do we discard something here? No. No, we don't. In the turn. Okay, we know what we're up to here now. We will destroy... Oh, dear. Alright, that's fine. Gets exiled, eh? Hmm. We don't want that, but oh well, what do we do? Resolve. Okay. Attacking with all, I would imagine. That's fine. We're going to get rid of the Hive Master here. That way these are... are uh, that might is tapped. Get braids out here. Next to combat. End of turn. We will sacrifice one of these blood tokens, but only one. We're going to need another one in case we get um, the Titan or Traxa in our hand. Or if we get another um, blood token creating thing, that's fine too. 
Okay, end the turn. Okay. We got the mites. It's fine. Fine for now. We need another creature. Okay, this guy can't block, of course. Right, that doesn't really help us, but it will help us generate some blood tokens. Okay. Um, yeah, why not? Unless they have something to get rid of one. What can we bring back here? Blood teeth. Yeah. Should we need to? Right? We will, because we can draw a card now. They're not going to sacrifice that might, are they? I don't think so. I don't think they will. Gonna let's draw a card here, my friend. It's not that much to think about. They are. That's great news. Okay. Don't have any red. We don't have. Oh, we do have enough red sources. That's okay. So let's just get rid of. It doesn't really matter which one we get rid of. You. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. It's only for. Oh no, that stays there, doesn't it? First right, K. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, so how do we do this? How do we do this? We got two there. Could bring back the blood teeth. Could bring back braids. But they got first strike. So we need something stronger than. Oh no, we can bring back that. It's minus X, minus X, or two, yeah. So let's do that. Or we could just destroy it, couldn't we? There we go, let's do it this way. Alright. Okay. We'll go with. Braids to come back. Yeah. We'll attack here. We'll create that and then we'll sacrifice the blood token in the same breath. Alright. Okay. Alright, we can deal with that because we're going to get our blood tokens. Alright, that's great. Okay. We're good here. We don't really need this down, but we're going to put it down anyway. Might as well. Next. What did they have? Destroy an enchantment or something? Not that we have any red here. But if we had the anvil, that's what we have. The mechanized warfare. Okay, we'll just go in with one. Here we go. Blood token. In the turn, we sacrifice it. They either lose the life. They do lose the life. Nice. They don't mind us drawing cards, eh? Yeah. Instant. So if they play down something big, we got answers. Okay. Okay, so that's plus one. We're not worried about that. Just till end of turn is fine. What else you got there? Anything else? We'll wait a second here now. Forebear can't block anyway. That'll only bring us up to seven toxic.
only flying for one turn. Yeah, we'll get rid of you now. We will get rid of you now, unless you have something with a shield counter, which would not be very nice. Or, you know, channel effect perfect, that's great. That's great news for now. There we go. Okay. Next. Okay. We're getting to tighten out next turn, which is great news as well. And we're going to do that now. Because we can do it now. Right? We can do that now. do this bring back the Titan okay we're going to create a Rhino and we're going to put a shield counter on the Titan for now and play our black land we're not going to sacrifice anything this turn there's no need decline No, don't be exile. Don't be exile. Okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, that's the game. Like I said, when the deck works, it works, and it's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. When it works. Gonna make it work, 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 work. Good game, my man. Good game. Okay, going against Excalibur. Excalibur. Whew. Okay. Okay. Do we want this hand? Do we want this hand? Hmm. Not really. I think we can do better. Much better. Much, much, a much, a much, a much, a much, a much, a much, 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 much better. Okay. Yeah, we'll get rid of the abraid here. We will get rid of the abraid here. Yeah, for sure. This is a good setup, right? Turn one rebirth. Turn two to three the harvester. Turn three or four omnicult. Get this going. Oh, even better. Okay. We're going to get some Toxic against this again. Another Toxic deck. This is the third one in a row. And this one's Toxic. Oh, they're doing a similar thing that we are. But they're probably losing creatures, are they? Okay, we're missing a turn here, unfortunately. That's too bad. Okay, come on, land. Oh my god. We don't even have red, black land. All right, let's just get rid of this while we're doing it. Oh my goodness gracious, this is gonna be awful. Yeah, thinking we would draw a land that we need. Come on, oh my god. Right? Of all the things that could happen. All right, here we go. That's a red land at least. Bring down the harvester here. We will block should we need to, we don't really care. Uh, next to combat. In the turn, we're not going to do the sacrifice yet. We're going to get the anvil out first, so we can get our engine going, right? Yeah, we will block that. We will block it. That's fine with us. Okay. My turn. At least we got another land here. We get the anvil out, and we will do this. Okay, and that creates us another dude, and a land, 
Okay, here we go. Now another on the anvil out. This will be great news. My turn. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Let's uh, bring this out again. And the harvester here. Create another blood token. What do they do? This is what they're countering? Oh my god, that is 100% fine. Sort of. Why didn't you? you should have probably done it with the anvil, but that's okay. Um, let's attack first before we destroy it, right? And now we'll get two of them. Right? Because that only happens one turn. Here we go. Getting a Titan next turn, boys and girls. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care. Getting two more. Bring out the Titan here. Or a Rhino and a Shield. Right? Bring out another Anvil might as well. While we're at it. Okay, and next to combat. Oh, and they quit! Nice! Now, again, that got going even better. Amazing when it rolls. Okay, Bacteria. Are you a Bacteria? Bacteria? Are you a European Bacteria? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, so this is no good. We don't have anything to play. We have no black land. I made that mistake earlier. We're going to have the mulligan here. It's not the best land, any, best hand anyway. This is okay. This one's manageable. So, keep the six. Let's get rid of... Doesn't really matter. This one or this one. Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, here we go. Getting more poison yet again. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Not cool. But luckily, we don't really destroy mana. Especially the smaller creatures. We don't need to worry about destroying all the whole thing. We destroy the big ones. It doesn't matter what the creature it is. <sighs> Anyways, let's see. We will see how it goes. Hopefully, they don't have too much for proliferate probably do. Oh, no, it's going to be mostly toxic, isn't it? Okay. Wow, okay. We can do that next turn, too. That's fine. The Blood Teeth Harvester coming down. Down, down, down. Okay. And we get the Anvil and Vat of Rebirth next turn, which is great. Which is exactly what we want. Although we're not using any tokens yet. Not yet. But that stops the Rot Priest from attacking. And that... Okay, that's... Oh... Yeah, that sucks, actually. That sucks a lot. Okay. Uh, yeah... So, 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 so. That, this, um, Let's do this now, right? Create a blocker. Create a blocker. Hmm. Do we want to or not? I'm only gonna lose it. We got nothing. We'll have to take two more toxic damage. That's it. 
because we can do the draw card and then it saves us from we get double use out of it right right we'll be able to play braids and we can play a land and we can draw a card get rid of our other land All right no blockers here Yeah, this is gonna be trouble. This is gonna be hard. Okay, my turn is cool. That's nice. So, we can do... We don't need braids out there now. I think we're better off destroying this. Yeah, yeah, we'll get a poison counter, that's fine. We'll get our blood teeth back, too. Right, and an extra token. Then we'll sacrifice one of them. Oh, really? Come on, man. Every time. Something like that. Ah. <sighs> Unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put something out the block there. We need the block with something here. We need the block with something. Oh man, I should have played it like I was going to. I should have put the brains out there. Oh, wait until they were tapped. Right, come on, man. Good game. Boo on you. Okay, versus Surly Moose Knuckle. Must be Canadian, I would imagine. Okay, good, good. Okay, alright. I think we can deal with this. I think we can deal with this very nicely. Okay, buddy. Whatever, dude. Another mono red. What are these sleeves? Crazy old samurai, huh? A surly moose knuckle. You guys know what a moose knuckle is? As I do. Unfortunately. Alright, so we're not looking too bad here, guys. We're going to start generating, generating tokens with the forebear here. The falcon, falcon wrath. The falcon wrath forebear. Oh, this guy. Okay, well, we get the mud out there. That'll be fine. That's what we're going to have to do next turn. That blocks the rolling a little bit. You're going to pump that up a little bit? You're thinking about it. Raise the effigy. You bloody blanker. You son of a gun. Alright, we'll get the mud out there anyway. So that'll block the... Um, we don't need to discard anything right now. I mean... Wouldn't mind drawing another card though, actually. It'd be alright. Yes. That's a bit better. We can deal with that. You're gonna kill it first. Use all your burn spells. Raise the effigy, really? Why would you do it that way? Just drawing one top. Don't like that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we got there nothing. But let us get the blood teeth down. Okay. They got the drone in there, and they could have a burn. So you know what? We're not doing anything. Let's play it smart. We're not in a rush. Our win condition isn't slam in there. Right? A dragon? You don't say. 
Oh my goodness gracious. What happens there whenever you cast a non-creature spell? Create an XX dragon where X is the amount of mana spent to cast that spell. And exile that token at the beginning of the next end step. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Oh, no, 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 We cannot have that. Okay. All right. We'll just attack for two. Well, not really. Let's leave. Let's leave this guy back. All right. That's fine. Now nah, maybe you burn it. Who cares? Not too worried. Not too worried. You got a burn spell there. Uh. Okay. All right. Whatever, dude. Okay. All right. All right. That's how you're doing it. Two damage to any target and one damage to each non-artifact creature. Okay. Target opponent. Controls. We had an artifact creature there, didn't we? And you didn't realize that was an artifact creature, did you? We realized it. Alright. You're up, my man. We can't block, so we're still going to hold fast. Because that Ronin can come in. They could just channel it for another card. Okay, one damage to each opponent when you tap it. And cast it, you untap it. Alright, yeah. Re remember this one. So, is it just tapped? Let's give us something that we want. Okay, this is something that we want. This is something that we want. Right? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.